the Sega Stoner Show. Don't you know it's the Sega Stoner Show? It's the Sega Stoner Show. Don't you know it's the Sega Stoner Show? It's the Sega Stoner Show. Don't you know it's the Sega Stoner Show? Hey YouTube, Sega Stoner. Guess what? It's been a year since I've been on YouTube. Oh yeah. I know what you're saying. Really? 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 Serious. I'm not even joking. It's been a year. Serious. So you know what? I got some surprises to show you, maybe. I don't know. Uh, how about, like, a clip from my first video? Hello, welcome to the Sega Stoner Show. My name is TJ, and I'm your host. Today we're looking at the Sega Genesis. Oh, what a beautiful system. So sleek. So nice. Solid. The beauty of this is that the games, tons. You got the Sega CD games, you got the Sega Genesis games, 32X games, Master System games. It's unbelievable how many games you got for this. Not to mention they had the Sega channel. <sighs> Crazy. Yeah. You know what? That was a clip. And, I mean, I've, I've evolved. I've taken some of your criticisms. And, you know, I've, I've utilized it. So, you know what? Let's take, a, let's take a clip from one of my favorite scenes. From one of my favorite episodes. All right. Clip time! Hi. Oh. <laughs> That's right. He got smacked in the face. You want to watch it again, don't you? Yeah, you do. Hi. Oh. <laughs> awesome. That doesn't get old. I could do it again. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Anyways. Um. I got a little, I got a little something, a little something. You know what, cuz, cuz you know what? I'll just show you the clip. Hey everyone, Sega Stoner here, just uh... So your motivation right is you're a game reviewer and you're Canadian, so just go with that man. Hey everyone, Sega Stoner here, just doing a game review. No, you got to be more Canadian, yeah? Sweet! Sega Stoner here. I'm Canadian, eh? About time to do a game review, okay? Yeah, man, that's award-winning Emmy shit right there. Oh yeah! That was an Australian. Yes. Dane's Games, check them out. I can't do an Australian accent. I can't. Maybe. Crikey! No, can't. I'm Canadian. Alright. I don't even think I have an accent. Just saying. That was pretty cool you did that video for me. Thank you. Uh, it was pretty damn hilarious. Um, so, I mean, it's pretty weird to think. I got some people from Australia. I'm just a Canadian boy. Yeah. Speaking of Canadians. It's the Sega Stoner Show. Don't you know? It's the Sega Stoner Show. Don't you know? It's the Sega Stoner Show. What up, YouTube? It's the Sega Stoner. I'm here to talk to you today about something that really bothers me. It bothers the Sega Stoner. And that is... The TurboGrafx-16. Oh, yeah. The TurboGrafx-16. You see, the TurboGrafx-16 gets all the credit for coming up with their unique little game cards called U-Cards. Everybody gives them all the credit. Look how cool they look. But you want to know the truth? The TurboGrafx-16 wasn't the first system to use this kind of game. No, in fact, it was the Sega Master System. And they were the innovators of awesome. When it came to chip card games, I've got here Teddy Boy. Oh yeah, Teddy Boy. Great game. A little bit different from the U-Cards, but pretty much the exact same thing. 
And this was Sega first. That's right. Sega first. Get another example of Sega leading the way. Another really cool thing about these cards. Just saying. If there was ever a zombie... If there was ever a zombie apocalypse, these could come in pretty handy. Picture this. You're walking down the street, trying to keep away from the zombies, when a whole horde comes down the road. What do you do? That's right. You use your Sega card. Like a credit card. You put it into the lock of the door, wiggle it around, and you can get into that house safe and sound, and avoid the zombies. So yet again, another way Sega can help you with the upcoming zombie apocalypse. Anyways, this has been the Sega Stoner. Peace! Hello YouTube, it's Sega Stoner. Stoner. Michael B. Game Genie. Awesome goatee, man. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. Uh, can I do an impression of you? I could do an impression of you doing an impression yourself. Uh, not of yourself. You'll see. Oh, yeah. Um, you know what? I just want to see a certain video again. Hi. Oh. <laughs> God, that doesn't get old. <laughs> um, I'd like to reassure you people that I still got one episode. Well, actually, I got two episodes that you have not seen. Um,. Actually, I have an episode that goes before this episode, which I haven't even released yet. It's crazy. I'll release it. Don't you worry. And I'm going to take a little break for summer. All right. A little break from uh, doing some videos, you know. Um, it's for summer, man, you know. If you got any uh, things you want to see or any feedback. I like feedback. Give me feedback. I'm serious. Give me feedback for the Sega Stone Show. Um... Do you think I should redo my intro? Do you think I need a new song? Um, do you think I should wear eyeliner? I don't know. Tell me. Put lipstick on my forehead? Not even on my mouth. Just my forehead? I don't know, people. Tell me. I need your criticism. You guys gave me criticism in the beginning. I need some more. I can't grow unless you give me criticism. I need it. I crave it. I need it. Up. Um, so, yeah. Thanks everyone that has supported me over this past year um i'd give shout outs but i mean then i'd have to like hold a list and give all the shout outs um you know it's been it's, it's been a year <laughs> i don't know what else to say i don't so uh as usual tell your friends tell your mom tell your neighbor Check me out! And until I return. Peace. Enjoy this pickup video I am going to throw in. Hey YouTube, Sig Stoner. Guess what? It's a pickup. Fair warning, there is some Nintendo stuff. Okay. Bear in mind. Uh, I think I bought the Nintendo stuff to get rid of. To pay for the non Nintendo stuff. So, if there's Nintendo stuff that you're interested in, let me know. Anyways, first up. Uh, at a garage sale. Yeah, guess what I found? Rob the Robot. Ow, oh, yeah. Uh, doesn't have the battery cover, but this is what he comes with. Well, this little dude ad right there. You know, you can know, pop it right there, you know what I'm saying? Just put that right there. You know, just do that right there, you know, a little spin action, you put the battery in and, you know, it does stuff. You can put that little doodad, you know, you just put them right there. Mm-hmm, you put it right there. And last but not least, got this little doodad, right, you know, you just put that right, uh, where'd that doodad go? Put that doodad right, uh, 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 there. Boom. Yeah. Rob the robot. So, yeah. This one, I am, I'm not interested in keeping. But I saw it. And I said, I have to get it. So, yeah, awesome. If you want it, let me know. 
Next up, uh, found a little something something. Let me see what year this is. Okay, this one actually is funny to me. I'm going to give a little story before I, sh you know, I'll show it, whatever. A Pokedex. Oh, yeah. Uh, also something I'm not planning on keeping. I'll show it. Yeah, Pokedex. I mean, it works. I bought batteries to put it in, you know. This one's actually pretty funny because it's by Tiger, and uh, anyone that knows, Tiger and Sega had a pretty, uh, pretty great relationship in the 90s, and this is listed as 1998. So, yeah, it's actually pretty funny. Serious. So, yeah, also not planning on keeping. So, all you Nintendo Pokemon fans, uh, if you want it, let me know. Uh, and the last Nintendo thing, which I actually do plan on keeping, is uh, this third-party GameStop Wii Wheel. Um, I think I paid like either a quarter or fifty. Nah, it was in between a quarter and a dollar fifty. Probably. Yeah. Sweet. Um, next my pickups. I I'm gonna admit I went to a Valley Village and I spent 10 bucks on a game. Normally I wouldn't spend 10 bucks on a game, but this is a game I've been hunting for. So I'm going to tell you what it is. Unless I've already showed it to you before. Then disregard this. I might have done that. I don't know. Anyways. Ghostbusters. On the Mega Drive. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. See? 10 bucks. Told you. It did have a manual in it. Um, it wasn't Ghostbusters, but it was some PAL game. I can't think of what it is right now. It's some plain one. I don't know. No, it really matters. I put it somewhere else because it doesn't need to be in here. So yeah, surprisingly fun. Uh, I'm sure you'd be like, oh, the AVGN says the NES one sucks. Well, you know what? This isn't the NES. This is some Master System stuff right there. Look at the pictures. Oh yeah. Awesome. See, that was 10 bucks. Um, there's this new game store that opened up. And I had to go there, pick up some games. So, I'll show you what they is. First one is a Genesis game. And actually, you Genesis home slices out there, I need some uh, I need some opinions or help on this one. I got Power Rangers the movie. But if you notice, it doesn't say Mega Drive or Genesis anywhere. Even on the back, it says nothing. Now, here's the confusing part. First off, this looks like a pretty good uh, case. Um, it does have that. I don't know. Anyways, pop that open. See the cart. The cart looks pretty legit. I'm not going to lie. Except for that. And the lack of Sega on the back. But the label is like... That's, that's a high quality label. Weird. Uh, I've tried the game. The game isn't no, it doesn't look like no bootleg. So, my question is, is this a... Uh, Packing. Also, the the insert. That's a high quality insert. I don't. I don't know. I'm pretty confused. And I know that this isn't how the label's supposed to look, whatsoever. So I mean, if you were bootlegging it, why would you change the cover? Although the the picture right here looks weird, right? I don't know. But it's cool. The guy originally wanted ten. I passed, went back like the next day, another person was there, he said five, I worked him down to three, so this was originally ten dollars, I got it for three dollars. I had to tell you that. I plan on keeping it. And last but not least, in this pickup video, is uh, a game I picked up for the wife, and that would be Playboy the Mansion on the PS2. Um, yeah, what more can I say? You play as Hugh Hefner and you go around throwing some sexy parties and doing some sexy photo shoots and banging some chicks on the couch while you're having a sexy party. What more is there to know? It's like The Sims, except sexy. <laughs> you're just boning chicks in front of people. It's pretty dope. You see boobs. Boobs everywhere. You just tell people, like you, boobs. And they show you the boobs. So anyways... That's this pickup video. Until next time. Peace.
lest we forget the Sega Stoner Award for July 2012 is the only person ever to win it twice EDT 1138 now you're actually winning it twice the reason why you're getting it is because of that epic mountain and this Sega video you be speaking of the the little sneak peek was like oh my god you win but if that video isn't as epic as it seems I'm taking it away